Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert an MBR, which stands for Master Boot Record Disk, to a GPT Disk, which stands for GUID Partition Table. So basically, it's going to be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, and we're going to jump right into it. So assuming you already have the installation media and you're ready to boot off of the drive or the disk, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. One thing I do want to point out is that we are going to be cleaning the drive. So we're doing a clean install of Windows. Make sure you have everything saved and backed up on your hard drive before you proceed here. So make sure you have it backed up to a flash drive, the cloud, whatever, because we're going to be doing a clean install of Windows because this will actually clean the drive. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure you have a backup before you do any of this because we're going to be doing a clean, fresh install of Windows 11. So pretty straightforward process. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I have Windows 11 burned to a DVD here. So I'm going to select my CD-ROM drive from my boot menu. It will be different depending on your hardware manufacturer. Maybe it might be a different key you have to press in order to get to the boot menu. And your boot menu may look a little bit different, but just go ahead and use Google to search for your specific make and model of computer. And just type in how to get the boot menu if you're unsure. And we're going to go ahead and select my DVD drive because that's where my Windows installation media is. And we're just going to begin like a normal Windows installation process. And I'll show you guys at the point that we're going to be actually converting the drive over. So it won't be too far into this process. So Windows setup, very standard appearance here. Go ahead and select Next. Select the Install Now button. And now on this page, where it says Activate Windows, I'll have this up on the screen of the video. You want to hold down the Shift and the F10 key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, the Shift and the F10 key, again, both at the same time here. This will open up a command line window here that we're going to start typing in some commands. And I will zoom in here so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. And you want to start by typing disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, exactly how it appears on my screen here. Hit Enter. If you did it correctly, it should launch the Microsoft Disk Partition utility. So you see it is launched here. Now you want to type a list, L-I-S-T, disk, D-I-S-K. You want to have a space in between the list and the disk. And disk is spelled D-I-S-K. I know some people spell with a C on the end, so just make sure you spell it with a K in our case. Hit Enter on your keyboard. So now you're going to select the drive that you want to convert. Most of you guys probably should only have one drive in here, and you can tell by the size of it too if it looks like, just if it makes sense, you know, which one the largest one is, probably where you're going to be installing Windows. You can see it's 70 gigabytes, so that's pretty big for a system recovery drive or a system recovery disk, for example. So we're going to select that one. So just type into this command line window, select space disk space zero, make sure it's a numerical zero and not spelled out Z-E-R-O. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. If you did all that correctly, it should say disk zero is now the selected disk. Type in clean, C-L-E-A-N. Hit enter on your keyboard. It should say disk part successfully or disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Go ahead and type in convert space GPT exactly how you see it on my screen here. Go ahead and hit enter. It should say disk part successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. So once you're done with that, you can just type in exit and hit enter. And now you can close out of here or type exit again, doesn't matter to me. And you would just enter in your product key if you had one, otherwise I don't have a product key. But that's pretty much it for the bulk of this tutorial, guys. And I'm just going to continue to walk through the installation process. Again, go ahead and select Custom Install Windows Only. Even if you select Upgrade here, since we converted the drive, we are going to be doing a clean install regardless. So just go ahead and save yourself the hassle and just select Install Windows Only. Again, if you listen to what I said in the beginning, make sure you have everything backed up before you did any of this. So I think I was pretty uh, clear with that. So go ahead and select Install Windows. We're going to select our drive that we converted. And you can see the size matches up, so 70 gigabytes. We only have one drive on here. Select Next. And then just give this some time to go through the installation process here, guys. And I do want to just kind of walk you guys through here a little bit, just show you that it did install successfully.
select your correct country and then select yes. Select the correct keyboard input and then select yes. And we're going to skip adding a second keyboard here. And then you insert a computer name if you want. And then again, you just walk through your setup process here, guys. And that's pretty much it. So really, I don't think we need to go too much further with this video. But like I said, pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.